China and U.S., two largest economies of the Asia-Pacific region, how do you articulate the current situation? There is no avoiding those realities. That's a reality. But what is important, and I mentioned this earlier, is the ability to convene, to bring folks together. The, the opportunity, how often can you get an opportunity for the officials from both the U.S., China, even Russia, in the same room across the year, you know, the, you, you look at how we've done it. And, it, and that is, that's what makes it important because you build relationships, you know, with relationship, you build that relationship, you build trust. Yes, you have disagreements, but at the end of the day, we have this pull aside, this informal discussions to see how we can, in spite of all that noise, in spite of all the tensions, still have something uh, important for our people. Well, for example, if you look at how tariff wars in the 1930s, that caused a massive depression, right? The Great Depression. Yeah. So tit for tat doesn't work, one. Two, tariffs, depending, you have to realise that tariffs are not just, you, you can use it to weaponize, but it, you have to look at the final impact of your tariffs. Who loses? It's your average consumer who loses because it adds to the cost of your product, final product, or it adds to the cost of your inputs, right? And it will pass through. When we look at supply chains, we see how uh, we can benefit from very resilient supply chains. Uh, you know, yes, there's a lot of conversations going on, a lot of criticism saying, you know, you want to onshore, French shore and all, but at the end of the day, we must have our focus on what's the benefit, you know. Uh, would a longer, more divert, uh, you know, more divergence uh, provide more, more results for the economy? You know, if you look at the, let, I'll go back to the Putrajaya vision, we have three drivers, three economic drivers, trade and investment, um, digitalization and innovation, mm -hmm. and the sustainable and inclusive growth, right? Yes. So whatever uh, President Xi says is really encapsulated it, you know, if you if you analyze what we have in the Putrajaya vision, exactly those things. You know, leaders, their role is to encourage this aspiration, right? Mm -hmm. But for us at the policy level, making uh, policy making level, for us it's translating that into reality. 